Capricorn. This is Joe from Angels and Ancestors. And this is your What the Fuck reading. 2nd to the 8th of March 2020. And we're going to get straight into the reading. Lovelies, what started your What the Fuck, your current situation? Okay, a bit of a story to tell there by the looks of it, Cancer. So your first aspect, lovely, is facing your fears and taking the fucking power back. How is Cap Capricorn going to take their power back? And that's your second aspect. Oh my goodness, you've got two nights, Capricorn. And that second aspect is your wish fulfillment, what you've been manifesting and why it may be fucked. And then we have your movement card, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, Capricorn. And then, my lovelies, what you can do about the situation. Welcome, Capricorn. Thank you. And then, what you can't do about the situation, Capricorn. What is set for this period of time? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I just sneezed. I should have turned the camera off. This is the reconnecting to the true you, lovelies. And then, what the fuck is happening next, Capricorn? Your outcome. Another night. Okay, lovelies. Wow. Wow. So let's have a look to see what started the what the fuck. This is a bit of a story going on here. Okay. So initially, lovelies, it looks like you kicked back and rested and rejuvenated. But most of, above all, you've had a good think about things and you're trying to sort things out in your head. Which led to this card directly behind, which is the ace of wands this is new beginnings um this is the fire in your belly this is your passion this is what you want to do and it's drawing down energy from that beautiful um cloud to allow these cherries to become ripe ready for the picking so whatever it is whatever fire is in your belly whatever gives you that passion um should be coming towards you lovely but you've had a really good think about it and you've drawn this new beginning in so right behind the Ace of Wands, you've got the page of Athame. So you've started with an Athame, and this one's Athame. This Athame um, tells you about drawing down energy. So it's very much like the Ace of Wands. It's telling you draw down the energy from the universe. Use the full moon to illuminate a truth or an untruth. And be wise in your decisions. And you know, sometimes when I see this and I see a book there, it's telling you make a note, keep a um, a book of shadows or a diary or a journal and make a note about your thoughts, your new beginnings and how you've drawn down this energy, how it's left you feeling, when you, whether, you've manifest, whether you've manifested something while you're doing that, whether you've meditated before or afterwards. But it's definitely telling you in the middle there from this thought that you've drawn down all this energy, a new beginning and a page bringing in a message to be wise about your choices. Because at the back, lovely, you've got the nine of wands. And the Nine of Wands in this deck tells us that you are being 
um, either a little bit secretive or overprotective about a project. Let me try and get that out a little bit. If you can see these little nymphs and fairies here, you may be overprotecting something or being secretive about something with good reason. I'm not saying it's not good reason at all. Um, but it could be a bit detrimental to you because it's stopping you from getting the help that you may need. And I'll come to that in a minute. But yeah, you've had a good think about things. I don't think you're ready to reveal your hand just yet. You know there's a new beginning in the offering. And I'm going to say that that's to do with work. Um, maybe this project is something that's really close to your heart. Um, and you are just being really, really, and it may have caused problems. Some of you may be thinking that you're keeping secrets about something else. Um, but you're still holding, holding these, you're holding it close to your chest. You're not revealing what this is. So lovely, you've got... Taking your power back. You've got the Knight of Wands. Again, Wands. This is a fire. This is passion. This could be bringing in a message so you can move forward. It could be a message of travel. But you are heading all that way up to that sun. So it could be travel for quite a period of time. Because they're not moving very fast either. So I'm kind of getting that to regain the power so you don't have to be as secretive or you don't have to worry about things quite as much. That you may need to travel um, to find that peace of mind and to take your power back. So what you've been manifesting and your wish fulfillment Capricorn is the Knight of Chalices. This is a knight coming in, and it could be that you've offered to cup out, or some you've, or somebody's offered to cup to you. But this is your manifestation. This is your wish fulfillment, and this tells me that this, this is on the cards. But because of the secrets that you're holding, and everything holding it very tight against your chest, you're not using. The page of a fame is to its full potential this one here you I'm kind of getting that you're making some unwise decisions about a more personal close relationship and they're your decisions to make lovelies nobody's going to dictate to you what you should or shouldn't do um, but just kind of keep in mind that that night may keep going that cup may just pass you straight by um, and go elsewhere if you don't, um, I'm not going to say open up about the project, but open up and let somebody know that they're not the problem. And the reason that you've got to go and journey, whether it's a physical journey or a mental journey, but the reason you're journeying isn't because of them it's because of this situation that you know you need to keep under wraps the, the secret um but you really do do need to be communicating that to your nearest and dearest so your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be lovely you've got the lord of shadows so for some of you you've been in the shadows and you're still there. You're kind of watching life from a back seat, if you like. Um, and then for some of you, I've stepped out of the shadow into the light. And I've started to pursue things. Because right behind there, you've got the High Priestess. She knows her shit, this lady. And she's got it all completely sus. She knows what she's doing. She draws down, and again from the moon, you've got the page of the famous with that beautiful moon and the wise owl in it. And again, you've got the full moon, the protection of the stones, and she's creating this magical spell. 
this magic potion, lotion, whatever it is. She knows her stuff. She's top of her game. And she does everything that is spiritually beneficial. So if this is you, if you haven't stepped out yet, you're about to step out into this power. And if you have stepped out, you're already experiencing this strength to get your journey really going and moving. And I kind of get, if you look at this, if you look at this, this night is moving away from this journey. And this night is moving forward. And remember, lovelies, energies, I only use energies, I don't use sexuality. So the nights can be male or female in origin. Um, the high priestess is an energy as well as is the Lord of the Shadows. So I'm kind of getting, there's two sides to this reading. And although you want to be wise and you want to illuminate this issue for some unknown reason, you're, you're, you've put it on a back burner and you're keeping it secret. But somebody is kind of like not happy about that. Or it could be that something's just going to pass you by because you're so focused on that and something far more deep and more beneficial to you as a whole is going to pass by very quickly. So this emergence from the shadows to continue your journey is vitally important. So if you haven't done it, you're about to do it and you will step into this beautiful power for those of you that have done it, you're already experiencing this powder, powder, power. And then you've got what you can do about the situation. You've got the Ten of a Thame is lovelies. Now the Ten is a completion card. It's grounded. You've had your thoughts, your feelings. You've been through all the emotions around this issue. And now it is time to say... Okay, that 10 is a 1 and this is a new beginning. All the issues and problems have now passed and they're passing through quite quickly. And it's giving you a nice new fresh start and a fresh perspective on what it is that you need to do and how to do it. You've got all those athames in your protection. So you are quite protected when you do this. Um, but yeah, the troubles are coming to be settled and you are moving forward very nicely with what you can do about the situation. So what you can do about the situation is use this moon to illuminate what the issues were and how far you have come. And that will show you that wonderful new beginning that was here in what started the what the fuck. So, what you can't do, lovelies, is you've got the wheel of the year. This is good luck. This is letting that wheel settle. It's not. It's it's in the upright. It's it's not adverse, it, and it's letting it settle naturally. Don't spin it. Do not spin the wheel of luck, because if you spin it, you may miss something, and that's what the cards are telling you. You need to let this settle naturally. And it may be that things are settling down for you and your luck is on the turn for the better, I have to say. Um, massively for the better. So you've got a bit of everything in here. You've got a bit of work. You've got a bit of love. You've got a bit of travel. You've got a bit of luck. You've got a spiritual movement happening. There's a bit of everything. I'm sorry that I'm going to... I think I might call this the bits of reading. Bits of this and bits of that. Because there's there's a bit of everything in here. But just don't let things pass you by. Just, just because you're being secretive doesn't mean that you can't carry on and, and live your life. Just because you feel something needs protecting doesn't mean you've got to go into hiding doesn't mean you've got to go into the shadows. It means you need to emerge from the shadows and see how far you've come. That's what it's asking you to do. See how far 
you have come from the 10 of completion of issues to the start of this whole new um, this whole new way of being is what I'm getting Capricorn honestly and do you know what you've got such a lot of wants and such a lot of a theme is lovely is that I'm kind of getting that maybe these are either energies or people around you or this is you and you've got all of this in your star sign or you show energies similar to these cards so your next card darling um don't give a fuck the reconnecting to the true you and you have got the three of a famous and this is walking towards a new open door this is walking towards an illuminated door And this is part of your journey. This is the reconnecting to the true you. And it may mean that you're going to be slumming it for a while. If you look at that house, it's not the best built house in the world. But you may be slumming it for a while just to reconnect to the true you. You may go camping. I shudder the thought at that because I can't stand camping. Um, but yeah, you might, there's something that is going to bring you immense joy through when you walk through that door, when you take that, I'm trying, sorry darling, I'm trying so hard to get rid of that glare of that window, right, there we go, um, yeah, that door, you've got the beautiful swan, which is a spiritual animal on the water, the water is there for healing, and you know that if you take that walk through that door, if you turn your back on an issue, and you walk towards that door, that you, my love, have got good things coming towards you and you will reconnect to the true you on all aspects. You've got the three, so that is material, so it's physical, mental and spiritual is what you will reconnect to. Or the triple face of the goddess if you're in to that. But this is about thought-provoking things and the thought is, my darlings, that you really do need and want that new door so your outcome what the fuck is happening next you've got another night capricorn you've got the night of a thames that's three nights for three completely different things you've got two quiet slow moving nights one i guess is you traveling off to other places and moving away from the situation this one is your wish fulfillment coming in towards the reading and then you've got this one that's galloping head on straight towards you with a message um, and it's kind of telling you get your thoughts straight what you did here in the beginning was absolutely right taking time out to think about things and then you went into secretive mode and this night is telling you very fast and this may happen really quickly you may be completely taken aback and shocked with how fast this message comes in but it's saying to you think about what you thought about and put plans in place to make this the outcome and get yourself out of the shadows and into that beautiful energy of the high priestess so the athames as well is for protection lovelies so maybe an element of some of you that see that night coming in really fast and offering you protection um from some source and it could be capricorn that you're dealing with a libra Gemini or I think it's Aquarius isn't it but I'm do you know what I just get the feeling you're dealing with a Libra I don't know why and I'm not saying that you're involved with this person but I do feel that this person offers you a lot of support and they offer you that where you're so earthy they offer you that um 
that ability to get into your headspace to kind of process your thoughts and feelings. So, the bottom of the deck, yeah, it's another Wands card. This is, do you know something? You have got a bit of everything, but it is edging towards your passion, um, your communication. This is a communication card here. The Eight of Wands tells us um, the communications could be coming in fast, um, but may not last. They may come in fast and then cut off. But you've also got the Athena that's coming in fast with some protection around you, um, showing you that the way that you was dealing with it initially was probably the best way to deal with it, but without the secretive bit, without going in inward is what I'm getting. Because you now need to do this emergence. So, lovelies, my Capricorns, let's get you um, an Angels and Ancestors card for this week. This is for knowledge, wisdom and energy. For the 2nd to the 8th of March for Capricorn. Thank you. And I did say a card and I think a hundred came out there, didn't it? It's for... So my lovely, you've got the lady and she says, enjoy growth and reap rewards. You've got the medicine mother. She's so beautiful. And she says, honour your inner knowing. You have the, you've got the Lord and the lady in the same reading, lovelies. Oh my God. That's your cup. That's your cup. And he says, change with authority look at that the lord and the lady in the same reading and then you've got the eagle which says see from a higher perspective so my lovelies that is your reading for the 2nd to the 8th of march um this higher perspective that we've just laid down I think that that is absolutely right. I think you need to revisit your initial thoughts and feelings around the issue. I really do. Because you've got this beautiful energy here. I can't believe you've got the Lord and the Lady out in the same reading. Look at that. Both Earth cards, darling. Well done. Lovely reading. But I'm going to call it bits and pieces or bits and bobs or bits of this and bits of that. Have a great week, Capricorn. I'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now.